short crust pastry, one of the easiest recipes to make and used so much in baking. So let's take a look and see how we can make this. Wash hands to start with. Firstly, we're gonna need the butter, which should be kept in the fridge to keep it cold. Let's take a look at the ingredients we're going to need. So the way this works out with the ingredients is it's double the flour to half the butter. So we've got 200 grams of plain flour, we've got 100 grams of unsalted butter and we're going to have some milk and for this recipe it's going to be around about 50 grams of milk. Now I'm going to mix these ingredients up using an electronic blender. Uh, you can use your hands, but sometimes the warmth of your hands can affect the butter. You want to try and keep it as cold as possible. And of course, warm hands can melt the butter. So let's just take the top off the blender. I'll put all the flour into the blender. And uh, all the butter as well. We'll leave the milk for now. We're looking for a very light, fluffy mix, the sort of mix you'd get on a crumble. With this one, I'm just going to add in a little bit of salt, just a little pinch of salt. Uh, you could use sugar if you want to have the pastry for a sweet dish. I'm also going to add in some milk now. Now, you could use water. Um, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to just try with about half a cup full of this at the moment. I'll tip that in there. Put our lid back on. See how that's looking. It's not bad. We're going to just put a. We don't to put too much fluid in this, but I'm looking to get about 50 grams. So just add a bit more milk into that. That I would have thought should do. So let's close the lid up again. Okay, so we'll lightly sprinkle flour onto the board. chopping board and pour our mix onto the board. And you want to just work this into a gently pat it together, work into a bit of a, a ball. Mix up into a ball of pastry and then with some cling film just wrap it up with cling film and pop it back in the fridge so there we go the pastry is all made up and chilling down nicely in the fridge um, it needs a little bit of time to settle down so give it an hour or so and then it uh, will be ready to use uh, if you don't want to use it straight away, then uh, maybe tomorrow or next day. Um, probably would use it up within about two to three days if I was you. So hopefully you found that useful. And uh, if you like the video, please give a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of these videos, then please subscribe. Thanks for watching.